Problem 11. Henry the donkey has a very long piece of pasta. He takes a number of bites of pasta each time eating 3 inches of pasta from the middle of one piece. In the end, he has 10 pieces of pasta whose total length is 17. How long in inches was the piece of pasta he started with? So the idea here is pretty simple, right? He has 10 strands. Let's work our way backwards because that's the information we're given with. So let's derive the unknown information from the given information, which we have 10 pieces right here. Right? And then we know that for every bite he takes, he takes up 3 inches. But first, let's understand how this process works from the, from the top down. I have one piece of pasta right here. He takes a nibble in the, in, the, in the middle, and in the second time, I have two strands. But let's say this original length was x. After one bite, we have to subtract out 3. Right? That's the first bite. Because... Um, he took away 3 inches from the middle, so then we have, obviously, if, if the original was x, and then it's x minus 3. So now likewise, when we have the third, um, the third instance, which he takes the nibble from each of these two, what do we get? Well, we get x minus 3 to be the original, right? But then we have to subtract 3 times 2. So the idea here is that for every single bite, right, that he takes, he's taking off 3 inches, and that makes sense. When he, when he, takes out, when he makes 2 bites, he takes off 6. And that's reflected right here. When he takes off one bite, he takes off three. And that's reflected right here, right? X minus three. So then if we have this idea, then we can go from the top from the bottom up with this pattern here. Because if the total the total length here um, is is 17, right? But the 17 inches must have been a result of x minus right um, three times a number of bites to get 17. And we're trying to solve for this x. X is the original amount. But how many bites did he take? Well, let's let's just look at how we got to four pieces, right? When I have one strand, if I want to get to two strands, I need to take one bite, right? Well, let's say I want to get to three strands. If I want to get to three strands, I need to take another bite right here or right here, which in total would, would equate to two bites. So basically, the number of strands that we have left that must have taken the number of strands minus one bytes from the simple pattern that we just derived. So if we have 10, 10 total pieces, then from this pattern, we know that there must be 10 minus one bytes. So three times nine goes here. And since that must equal 17, we solve for our answer, which is 17 plus 27, which must gives you 44, which is answer choice D. So basically, the moral of the story here is, Always give yourself little patterns, derive information from these patterns, and then apply it to the larger pattern like this question and solve for the overall answer.